Yes, guys, we are out here. Waterloo Skate Park Dojo. Been riding this park for years. We got the Gibbalicious Goblin, aka Gibby. We also got Cream down there. Where are you at? Where are you at? Welcome back, mate. Long time no see. Cameras aside, we gotta get a real one in. How's it going, man? I mean, cameras are still out, but yeah. <laughs> Keep the fit, though. We got the new Mockavel hat, yeah, and then like we got. Okay, spin. can you film me on, on two cameras and I'll yeah. do a spin? The new shirt, the hat. We got the pants, I'll do a quick spin. Mmm, goddamn. See, and then not only we have the uh, the jacket to go. We've got to get a fit pick today. Look at that. Oh, that is fresh. Look at the pants, bro. That is fresh. I know. I know. Mockavel making moves, all right? Mockavel making moves. I gotta tell you guys. I gotta tell you guys how it be, all right? Mockavel has some of the freshest clothing in the scooter industry. Okay, everyone, go check it's it out. Link is in the description. It's not, it's not just like exactly. Any other shit, you know exactly. I mean? It's not just the casual shit. Like we got. Look, look at that font, guys. Like, look at these pants. They do it. They doing it different. Link is in the description. Go suss it out, guys. Yeah, these dudes just trekked it down from Newcastle to come ride for the day because we're getting a break from the rainy weather. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Famous bull crack. Haven't done one of these in a video for ages. Dude, you mix between. Bruh, sponsor me. I know. I, I actually back Blue V so hard. This does not even compare to a Blue V, but I mean, if we're getting the spawner, I'll drink these all day. Gib, bro. They don't make them like you anymore, eh, Gib? Okay, okay. You can't see the camera right now, but we hands free, guys. Hands free, like we have a tripod now. This makes things ten times easier. I need to buy one. No, of these. no, this is hands free. Ready? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna run you some clips or what? That's what it reminded me of. Alright, um, you pick the place though. Where can we go halfy first? Yeah, that's kind of it was kind of like yeah. thinking a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. It was on my mind. <laughs> Guys, look at this sky. It's so good today. I know. Thank God we got. A yeah, run. weather's been so well. shit, eh? Hey. Uh, just drop, no, just run it. Okay. Just don't uh, even talk, uh, bro. Just, go. yep, run it. These always come off. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> first team. All right, guys, just so you know, it actually wasn't first try. I'm gonna see a 5 0 store to back one whip in. Oh, that's different. Yes, dude. Hats down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you reckon you got a bri flip? I reckon I got a bri. I never And do then them a though. buttercup, surely. Fuck. <laughs> I guess I'll try it. Oh. oh my god, you know, dude. I forgot how they work. Yeah. Man's forgot how a buttercup works. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, I'm calling you the weirdest tricks today. Man, you're making me sweat, dude. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I have not done a buttercup since I was like 14, 13, maybe even. Done bras, done max, done umbrellas. Never the buttercup, got me sweating. I'm putting you on the spot somewhere else. A little flat bar? You already warmed up on the flat bar. So, yeah, yeah, stack a few. So. Yes, Gib! <laughs> Cream's in the building.
No. Says you don't got the flat bar tricks. Oh. Yes, cream. Yes, cream. Gib, dude. I think it's just because it's hot, but bro, while I've been filming, there's been flies attacking me, dude. Yeah, you can see. Like, what the fuck is all this? Ooh, there's like five, dude. It's like the black shirt. Maybe it's because I'm sweaty. I'm stinky. Don't <laughs> at me. Okay, let's get some clippy. All right, run it. Look at that shirt. Pick the shirt. I'm ticking them off like a clock. <laughs> Yes. Yes. That OCD mirror. <laughs> oh, look at this. Gibbs running the Sawn Desi deck. One of a kind. Go cop yourself some guys. Syndicate store. Ooh. Kai stinks. Oh, that's what I mean, bro. Mm, God damn. And not even made. a scratch. Not even a scratch. I didn't scratch on me, boys. <laughs> Run that back. All right. Run that back. Do you want to get it cleaner? I feel like it was a bit sketchy. Yeah. Mm. yeah that's, that's why we redo it, boys. That's why we redo it. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, let me do one, but I reckon film it from the top. This cap trick. It's cap trick. Look at this. You can't see the emblem on the bottom, but yeah, you know who it is. Ride native. Yeah. Ride Swan Desi. <laughs> Don't ride him, but Don't ride him. Ride Don't ride him, but ride him. <laughs> this pretty head. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Dan Barrett. Camera died. Let's redo that. <laughs> watching it? He's not watching it, but if you're watching this, shout out Danny B. Your beard's fresh. Run it, run it, run it. <laughs> oh. What was that commentary on my behalf? Ew. Front hang of the ledge. You're in, Gib. Who's Gib? You mean Goblin? Yeah, Gobby, you're in. Oh. Oh. Yeah, run it back, run it back. Yeah, Gibby Conehead. Yes, dude. Alright, guys, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, you heard it. Oh! Yes, Gib. Oh, I'm up. You're up, you're up. What? Damn. Damn. No, I don't have the stamina. Don't have the stamina? Done. He's done. Gibbo's out of energy. Cream says he's gonna steal his trick. Is this for real? You actually gonna you gonna, you gonna do him like that? No. Yeah, do it. We're in Sydney, bro. Dude, this guy fucking gave it up. It's up for grabs. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna get a drink. Bro. Yeah, go get a drink, bro. Let Cream steal your trick. Yeah, Cream. Let's get it, Cream. Let's get it. Oh. Oh. And Gibbs back in. Oh, shit. Oh, no. oh, it's the first one to get it. Oh, he's so close. Oh, my God. Oh, get. Oh, wow, hits the three at first. Oh, damn. He gave up. Cream almost stole it, but he still got it. Dude, I'm, in, I'm out here talking about blue Vs and Red Bulls. Cream's got a flying power. Where the fuck did you get that thing? <laughs> the fridge, bro. Hell yeah. I'm vibing some mani clips, you feel me? You know me and my manuals, bro. We gotta get into it. Easy. Yeah. Like butter. Little man W. Yeah. Oh, dude. You know what, guys? I'm actually so good at filming. Bar men, oppo bar men, bar out. Okay. And then I want to see oppo bar men, 
normal bar men, oppo bar out. Dude, that's so weird. A lot of the tricks that I've gotten you to call me and shit, I've like had on my mind, like, and I wanted to do it. Like the 540 air, this, yada, yada. Alright, uh, I'll get it, I'll get it. So wait, bar man, oppo bar man, bar, and vice versa? Yep, yep. Yep. No, this, this one on the way back, I got this. Oh yes, I stacked off the scooter and still held it. Whip man, whip man, heel. Yeah. And then heel man, heel man, whip. Okay. Yep. Yes, dude. I'll hit one ender that I want to call myself. Just a bar fakey man, you whip fakey. All right, for the ender, for the ender. Oh, dude. First fucking try. I was thinking I might not get a first try, but I got a first try, like this fucking video, guys. Yeah. Thanks, man. Mm, Thanks, man. Mm. That's it for Lou. Oh, dude. My scooter's sounding so loose. Is it? Let yeah. Let me hear, let me hear. Yikes, bro. You need some of that Swandesi pizzazz. I'll fix you up real quick. I'm going to teach you how to dial a scooter today, people. All right. Right here we have an undialed scooter. I would use mine. Mine is also undialed, but when I tighten it up, it becomes dialed. That's why I'm here sitting teaching you this. But I don't like a dialed scooter. Street riders don't really like dialed scooters. I mean, some people do, some people don't. Let me just get to the chase. We're going to tighten give a scooter today, guys. Obviously, the first few things you got to check if you don't have a dialed scooter, right? Typically, it comes from either the wheels, the Fendi, or the compression, really. It's it's just either or, okay? So we're gonna start with tightening up the back wheel. That's like what you should start with. Typically, when you drop the scooter, you can have a, look at this, look at this, got keys on standby, boys. Oh, straight out the pocket, dude. What pocket, dude? <laughs> out of here the whole time. All right. So first things first, you just wanna knock off each part that could be loose, like what's making the noise. And first off, obviously, we're gonna tighten this thing. Okay. Damn, back you got wheel, some, back wheel got some muscle. I had to like hold the fucking thing in line and shit. All right. Now, let's give it a, you, you get to test it each time because then you can know. Okay, we still have some looseness. Dude. That's obnoxious as fuck. We're trying to film a fucking tutorial here, okay? <laughs> Next step, I'd say, would be uh, take it to the fender. Take the key to the fender. Can you even tighten this fender? I don't know, dude. It, 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 you can tell I haven't even tightened it. I forget how native fenders work. Sounds bad, but... <laughs> okay. So what you want to do is just give the... Give the Fendi a nice tighten. Have you even tightened this Fender, dude? Never, dude. Really? Yeah. Okay, I don't even know if that tightens, bro. I think your Fender's rusted in. I don't think it's loose. I don't think it's loose. I don't think it's tight. It's just rusted in there. Fuck yeah, I didn't, can't even get the key in there. Okay, so we're, just, we're saying the fender's good, right? But typically, like, your fender's probably not good. So tighten the fuck out of that shit. <laughs> but this one's good, so we're gonna... now. It's a native deck, dude. They're always good. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't gotta worry about the native decks making noise. So it's not the deck, it's gotta be something else. So, what kind of axle do you fucking have going on here? Can you just get close up in this so the viewers can see? <laughs> oh, give Scooter. What is this, bro? This is ghetto as fuck. Well, the axle was too long, so I put a nut on it, bro. So it's that's like a, all it is. Bro, you have like a bolt clamp in this bitch. Mm. The fuck? It, you have a bolt clamp in here with like a nut as well. Yeah. Okay. Front wheel's good. Now, we revisit the dial test to see if any of those things are making the noise. Dude. I swear that shit's coming from the back, eh? I don't even know if we'll be able to get this dialed. Okay. I've never worked in a scooter store, guys. We're just teaching you how to dial a We're scooter if it comes to it. If it comes down to it, okay? So, next thing's next. You want me to tighten your headset a little bit, right? Anyway, regardless. Yeah, next thing's next. <laughs> next thing is next. You want to take, loosen the bolts in the clamp. Like so. No sweat. Just two to go. The angles. Oh, that bottom one was tight as hell, dude. Yeah. Alright, we'll bash these out. Hold the bars and shit, yeah, ready? For the thummy. Oh, perfect. Uh, now, typically, if, if your thing's spinning around like once, or once and a half, 
you're good, right? So that's pretty much even two spins. We're going to tighten this a bit because we want it to be solid. How tight do you like your headset, Gib? I don't want to over tighten it on you. Well, as long as I can do bar spins with ease, dude. You know, get in there. So what are you doing right now? Okay, so what am I basically doing right now is sometimes, depending on the clamp and the fork, if they're compatible, really compatible or not, if they're the same brand, sometimes they move when you tighten the, the thing. So you want to just try and... Oh, mate. Oh, dude. I don't know if we're getting the scooter dialed, bro. It sounds dude, like it's... That's as dialed as it's going to get. Okay, let me just put on the bars, right? The viewers know we can't tighten the brake. So if it comes down to the brake... It's some some uh, fenders and brakes just be making noise. They're noisy, right? They like to yeah. talk, so you can't help that. You can tell when a scooter's pretty much dialed and when it's not. Mine can, wasn't at the yeah, start. Yeah, you can tell them to shut up, but you, there's no guarantee they're going to shut up. So <laughs> We've got to shut them up. Right Wait, show me that. Show me that. Well, we're going to make sure Gibbo will actually enjoy his uh, dialed scooter, so... Yeah, I want no sketchy saw and Desi type. Nah, dude, nah. That's no, perfect anyway. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like... This is what I mean. Okay, so then, another tip when tightening compression bolts. This is actually crucial, okay? You don't, I'm gonna actually put this here so you can see. You don't wanna tighten them like directly up all in order. You wanna tighten the bottom one to the top and then the middle two. And you don't wanna do them fully tight. You do them little bits at a time. You right? wanna know something, dude? I didn't even know that. You didn't know this? No. It actually I just went from the bottom to the top, eh? Trust, this is like a known fact. So you wanna do the outer two, then the middle two, but not too tight. And then you repeat the process with adding in, you know, finishing off the bolts, right? Right. Because it doesn't compress the bars as much. It kind of fucks the... It fucks the clamp and the bars up. It, like, stretches it weird when you tighten one... As you can imagine, like... Jesus, I just learned something new, The eh? clamp will, like, compress really tight while the top's still fully open, so... If you do it even, it can... You know, that won't... You'll, that won't even happen. Oh, dude! Dial test, dial test. Ready? Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Damn. Oh. Damn. Come in here, come in here. You can hear a little ting, but barely. Like, without that ting... Like, we're we'll not re we'll through... replay the noise back of what the scooter sounded like at the start. Exactly, just to compare, right? Compare yours, compare yours. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Let's compare, hold this. That's unsolid. Just to use an example. Hear that, guys? Basketball. Wait, do you hear that? I don't. All I can hear is the birds cheeping. You did you did a good job, man. Thanks, boss. Good That's job. what I'm here for. If you guys want your scooters to be tightened, take them to me. I will personally tighten your scooters for you. But if you see me at a skate park, you got a loose scooter, don't come asking me to tighten it. Although I might do it for you. I might do it <laughs> if you're lucky. You're happy with the result. I mean... Still, still can bar spin? It's good. Okay, we're good to go. We're good to go. Hell yeah. Pleasure doing business, mate. That'll be uh, $500. $500. Oh, wow. Wow. Free service. Thank you for coming, guys. Tune in next time.